Greetings, this is Goku50, and as some of you may know, it is anime con season. Well, as someone pointed out, there is no anime con season. Anime cons happen year round. But with the summertime, there comes a lot more frequency of anime cons. Now, for me, anime cons usually sprung up in the spring. But there's a lot of big cons coming in May and June and July. Plus, there's some really interesting cons in the fall. Now, I have been getting a lot of emails and contacts on YouTube from fans and people who told me that they went to their very first con asking for advice and so on. Now, several of them have already gone, such as Warknit and a few other people who went to their very first convention and have told me how great it was. But, I read a very interesting article on ThatGuyWithTheGlasses.com that I'd like to share with you and also put in my own insight. I want to actually take a moment to talk about the negatives of anime cons, or should I say, some hazards you may want to try to avoid, or hazards that are probably going to come up anyway that you'll just plain have to tolerate. Now this by no means means that I want you to avoid going to anime con because the reviewer who wrote this said that several people emailed her after she wrote her top 10 list of anime con plagues that several people decided not to go. That's not why I'm doing this list. This is just a fun top 10 list uh, written on thatguywiththeglasses.com written by the cat. She wrote this a uh, year and a half ago actually. But to be perfectly honest, I'm going to interject my own list. now. She did top 10 plagues of anime conventions, no before you go. I'm going to take some of her list and put it on this list, and also switch around the numbers. But I'm also going to add some of my own. So, without further ado, here are top 10 things to look out for at an anime con. Top 10 cons about anime cons. Number 10. It's how much to get in? Okay, let's get something straight here. Anime cons are expensive. They're expensive to run, and they're expensive to get in. Cost thousands of dollars to register for the hotel, get all the rooms, get the convention center. They have to pay for the guest airlines, actually pay for the guests. Some anime stars and voice actors have like a minimum of... 500 to 1500 even 5000 dollars just to show up as a guest and so on so some of these conventions are expensive to run so don't be surprised if your ticket costs around 40 or 50 bucks and if you want my opinion i think that's a very good deal most anime cons i've gone to range from 35 to 40 dollars and for a 3 to 4 day con that's a heck of a deal. Keep this in mind, that that money is going to pay off debts, and some cons at best break even. Some of them make a lot of money, some of them make impressive profits, others don't. I have been to small cons where they barely broke even, and they were totally fine with that because they were just there to have fun. So please, by all means, uh, pay for that. Now, that ain't the only expensive thing to get in. The dealer's room. I'm going to let you know this right now. The dealer's room is very expensive. There's going to be a lot of items in there you're going to want to buy, but just giving you a heads up, they are not cheap. The t-shirts range from 20 25 bucks. The DVDs can be almost as much as your ticket, 40 50 bucks. However, the DVDs these days, they're coming out with better deals because these days you can get the whole season or the whole series of an anime for 40 or 50 bucks. <laughs> I remember six, seven years ago, you would get like maybe four or five episodes for that price. So you're getting a better deal these days than they did when I was younger. Now keep this in mind that the dealers traveled long and far. I'm always surprised when I go to medium and small sized cons. Like they'll travel halfway around the other side of the country just to be there, just to sell their stuff, and they'll be lucky to break even. Now I'm also going to give you a heads up. There's a lot of items there that are obviously overpriced like there'll be some anime pins that maybe cost like what a nickel to make and yet it's like five bucks maybe a little an anime pencil that costs like what three cents to make but it's on sale for three dollars and so on keep in mind that is there for a reason now i'm not gonna lie to you some dealers may rip you off there are occasionally some things that may or may not be there and some of the local people might be laughing at me because they uh, <clears throat> know because I used to be a dealer for a while and I kind of sold uh, <clears throat> crap for a while. So they kind of know that. But just keep this in mind. Uh, bring extra money with you for that then and haggle. 
haggle. I have talked to, it's called a dealer's room for a reason. You would be surprised. Almost every time I've gone to an anime con, they've almost always given me a deal on the anime posters. I have more posters than I have on my wall. Like, because they'll give me, uh, how much is it for two posters? Uh, Eleven dollars, but I'll give you three for ten. It's like, okay, deal. The thing you probably shouldn't buy, but keep this in mind when you're in the dealer's room, buy something you're actually going to use. Don't, I've seen this happen too many times, where people buy like a samurai sword and they don't even use it, or they'll buy a cosplay costume and not use it. Buy something useful, like they sell backpacks or these, um, uh, these bags that can hold a laptop. I've used those a lot of times. Buy something that you'll use. If you buy a pin, wear the pin. If you get buy the poster, put up the poster, and so on. Now, so it's like, oh, well, I'm a poor anime fan. I don't have enough money to go to these games. Okay, first of all, get a job. Work extra hours. Do some extra chores uh, for your parents. Ask someone for money, and so on. Most important thing, if you're if you're going on a budget, carpool. Go with your friends, share a room, split the cost of the hotel room, and so on. And if you say you're with the condo, you should give you a discount. Number nine, nerd fight. Okay, at anime cons, uh, this primarily happens at the big ones, but I have seen this happen at the small ones. You're gonna come across a lot of anime fans who don't agree or like the same things you like. Anime is a very diverse genre as well. Not everybody likes hentai. Some people love it. Uh, I'll tell you what, you wanna commit- I, I often came up with this joke. How to commit suicide at an anime con. Go in the middle of the con and scream out, NERUTO IS OVERRATED! And get an ass whooping. You're gonna come across people who are gonna say, I really don't think Neon Genesis Neon Gillian's all that great. <gasps> no! So, there are some anime fans that are just so freaking in love with their anime that they'll get into arguments, scream shouts, and so on. And it ain't always about anime! Um, at my local cons, and I know that certain users probably gonna comment here, there's also a lot of infighting. Some people thinking that the cons could be run better, or that, and so on, or disagreement with the staff. A lot of personal issues will come up, and because of that's like, oh my gosh, I, 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 let me just make up a person. Uh, so like, oh that, oh that Brian, I, we just can't stand Brian. He's such a jerk, and so on. He's not welcome at this con anymore, and so on. There are infighting. There are rumors sometimes. I would say the best thing to do is not spread rumors around, but sometimes it gets around. Um, obviously, if there are as actual fighting, fighting, nine out of ten times the con will just kick you out. Uh, but just the solution is just don't take it seriously. If you get into a, an argument, just walk away. No one's going to like exactly the same things you do. But you'd be surprised. Most of them will. Most people are going to like some animes, but uh, if you... Lately, this has happened to me a lot. Uh, I'm stuck, like I said, in the tsunami era. I still like animes that are ten, five years old, while everybody's so obsessed with these uh, newer, darker animes, and I just don't get it. But I don't make it a big deal, and so on. So, try not to add fuel to the fire. Don't take things so personally. Number eight. Yowie, that hurts. Creepers, stalkers, and pedo bears. Oh my. Let's be honest, at anime cons, um, there's no secret that there's a lot of guys who go to these anime cons who haven't seen daylight in oh so long, and oh, they need some people, and you know, the people who are like totally obsessed with hentai, or totally obsessed with yaoi, and then when they get there, they get really perverted. And every anime convention, and probably every geek convention in general, it's often a rumor, and it's often notorious to have at least some perverts in there. There's crazy costumes left and right, sexy costumes left and right, and that can bring out the worst in people. And I personally, in my very first con, I'm not going to lie to you, a security uh, I had to have a chat with me because they thought I was stalking the girls who were dressed up like Sailor Scouts. Now you got to understand, it was my very first convention ever, so here's girls who dress up like the Sailor Scouts. 
I'm going to be honest with you. I felt exactly like I did the very first time I went to Disneyland. Sure, my mind says that they're just people dressed up like the Sears Guts, but my heart's are like, oh my gosh, just the Sears Guts and so on. And I was t- chatting with a girl who was dressed like Sailor Venus, and she kind of reminded me of one of my ex-girlfriends. My ex-girlfriend just broke up with me at the time, and I was chatting with her too much. She didn't tell me to leave her alone. She didn't tell me to leave her alone. I didn't get the message right, and uh, she told security I was stalking her. And that was my first con ten years ago. Did not go so well. So just read the lines. If and by the way, girls, if a con player is uh, harassing you, let them know. We men are not mind readers. You should know this by now. Now, for the record, most girls want the attention and so on. But at every con, uh, it's notorious for having some uh, weirdos. Now, I've heard the big cons; it gets really bad. At the cons I've been to. It's mostly uh, been pretty good, and so on. Uh, but some girls don't like the whole wearing a, a hentai, I'm a hentai inside t-shirt, and so on. The cons I go to, we uh, tolerate that mostly. Now let's go down to the yaoi. Uh, yeah, the yaoi and furry fans, uh, they can be pretty wild at times. I've heard that they've done all kinds of crazy stuff at the big cons. Uh, my only problem with yaoi fans is they can be in your face about it. Uh... Other than that, I am very much tolerant of them, and that's the solution I'll give you. Solution, just tolerate it. Uh, You don't have to like Yaoi or Furry if you don't want to. And again, if you feel uncomfortable, uh, you need to let security know. Well, but before you call security, will you please tell that exact person? And so on. And then there's, of course, there's the whole pedo bear thing, and this has just been plain embarrassing. What the hell's going on? Where'd this guy come from? Uh, it's it's like a, it's a weird sick joke that goes on at cons, and then and you're gonna find people who are not gonna like Loli, and you're gonna find fans who are like totally obsessed with Loli, and so on. Number seven, set the crowd to hyperdrive. Crowd behavior. What is it? I'm not a psychologist, but I think we can all agree that there's something about a crowd that brings out the strangest behavior in people. One person gets the idea like, hey, I want to start dancing in the middle of the hallway. And before you know it, everybody else is doing it too, especially at the Robotech panel and so on. Collective behavior can either be really funny or really annoying at anime cons. Now, again, I personally don't ha- have a problem with this. I'm reading off of her uh, uh, list. I'm, all right, here's what I'm, I'm reading this from thatguyforglasses.com. A prime example of this annoying crowd was in 2000 that Otakons, at the Otakon, there was an incident in which a chair was left on the stage a little too long, and someone in the crowd started chanting, Chair! 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 Soon the whole audience was chanting, Chair! 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 Making it difficult to continue the rest of the show. This wasn't the first con to have the chair problem, but it popularized it and made it a tradition and so on. There's also a lot of weird traditions at anime cons, and I'll be guilty of that as well. Uh, for the anime music video contest, like five years in a row, at the very first AMV contest, we showed an anime uh, with uh, Sailor Mercury and with the song Blue, uh, Blue called I'm Blue, da ba dee da ba da da Everybody knows this. So for five years in a row, we played that at every anime con at the beginning of the AMV contest. Someone finally told me to stop! I will also point this in that I have also made an ass of myself. I filmed a... Um, a sketch I'm not proud of. I thought it would be funny. To this day, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm embarrassed. This was another reason why I stopped filming for a while. I thought I'd want to be raunchy for a change. I did something totally out of character. I I even had this on YouTube for a while, and some people are groaning already. What's insane is I should get an award for balls of steel for showing this in front of an audience, and I did this twice. I did this at Anime Oasis and uh, in the one in Salt Lake City. And I think ever since the one in Salt Lake City, they've banned me from ever showing another DVD again. Uh, yeah, so weird traditions and so on. You're going to find these at cons. Now, I guarantee you a majority of these weird traditions are going to be fun. They're going to be very, very fun, I promise you. But some people find them annoying. I guess Jesse Otaku finds them annoying on thatguysthelaxes.com. And some of them can be mishaps. And some of them can be screwed up. And some of these traditions can just drive people nuts. Okay, let's move on. That was just a warm-up. Solution? Uh, there is no solution because you pretty much can't do anything about it. Just don't be part of the problem if it bugs you. 
Okay, number, now we're getting to the real nitty-gritty. That was just a warm-up.